Dang, that was good. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's spicy. <clears throat> Hey guys, Harry here. All right, so today we're back with another video and I had to come to this food truck, right? Initially, I was planning on going to visit this food truck that I've been wanting to go check out for a while and it's barbecue based food mixed with a little Mexican. So they have like brisket quesadillas. They have a couple other items on the menu and obviously they would smoke their meat, slow cook it. So I'm all about that. I like my meat nice and tender and juicy. The only thing is due to the weather, it's been raining all day. There's been lightning. Thank God I called them ahead of time and they notified me that they were gonna be canceled until tomorrow. Now, I was initially thinking like, you know what, damn, I'm just gonna go home, make something to eat. But then I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna let this rain ruin my day, honeys. And I ended up coming to this food truck that Libby and I both love. It's close to my house. It's so good. Their customer service is bomb. You feel like you're at home when you come to this food truck. And I don't know about you guys, they treat me good and they got good service and the food's good. That's a win-win for me. So I normally come here and I get a torta. Everything on their menu looks so good that I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go with these tacos dorados, right? Now tacos dorados, Oh, they're so bomb. And I'll get to explaining what they are in a minute. But what I really like about this food truck, it's a one-stop shop. They're actually located in a parking lot of an auto zone. I repeat, they're located in a parking lot of an auto zone. So not only can you come and get some auto parts, you can get some tacos in the same parking lot. And that's actually pretty smart because I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? A lot of Mexicans love going to auto zone. After work, you're hungry, right? After working on a car, you're hungry. They're always pretty busy. I'm glad I gave them a shot about two months ago and I don't know why I haven't done a video here yet, but that's what we're gonna do today. And it's called Los Vaqueros Tacos. Los Vaqueros Tacos. And Los Vaqueros means, I guess like vaquero means cowboy in, in, uh, in English. Vaquero equals to cowboy. Now I'm starving. I haven't eaten, I've been eating this most of the day, right? I've been trying to be healthy, you know, I've been eating a little good, hitting the gym, but I have some, uh, it's like protein, it has oatmeal, raisins, walnuts, bananas. So this is what I've been eating, but I need some good, juicy, tender meat. If you know Harry by now, you know I'm all about crunch. I don't know where to start, man, but let's get to it. Hopefully everybody had a beautiful week. Was having a beautiful weekend. As for me, I'm stuck in this gloomy weather, but you know what puts me in a good mood? It never fails. Some good old food. Can you guys see? Can you see the light? Now I got me chicken, no, I got me uh, steak and al pastor tacos. These tacos are actually fried with oil. So they're nice and crunchy. I don't know if you guys can see. Ooh, here. They give you some, some onions. Look at these onions. Look how soft these onions are. Look at that jiggle. And you know me, I love peppers. They give you, in Spanish, this is called a chile dorado. It's nice and soft. It's spicy, but it's good. What I, what I like to do, I like to squirt a little bit of lime on top of this. Take a bite and then take a bite out of my tacos. Now, ooh, look at this one right here. Look at that. I got al pastor and steak. Look at that, you could just see the grease. It's not too greasy, but it's nice and crunchy. The Al Pastor, they slow cook it. And it's juicy, it's juicier than that thing. Ooh. And what I also like too is, they have a table where you can pretty much pour your own salsa, grab your own onions. They have everything nice and chopped up. 
they have a bunch of limes. So, you know, you just pretty much, uh, you serve yourself. And I like that. Ooh, Lord. We're gonna start with the Al Pastor. And these tacos dorados remind me of my grandma. Rest in peace to her. She always made these tacos like this. But instead of putting meat inside, she would put potatoes or like beans and cheese. And they're so good because they, they're crunchy. And they're just, oh, they're just packed with flavor. Oh, we gotta do a thumbnail before I forget. I also got me, this is called a mulita. It's like a quesadilla. Okay, let me take this bad boy out, look at this. It's like a quesadilla. But it has, you could pick your own meat. I got steak. You could put chicken inside. You could put al pastor. Ooh. Ooh, whatever you want, honeys. And this also is put in some type of oil and fry it a little bit. Look at that. Don't mind my nails, honeys. I work. <laughs> I got, I work, so my nails are going to be dirty. But you know what? I wash my hands. Now, the, the hardest thing about all of this is doing a thumbnail. Let me do it. Ooh, let's get this more in frame. All right. Ooh, I'm ready to eat, y'all. I'm ready. So we're gonna pour a little bit of salsita roja. Red salsa. We're gonna do al pastor, right? You ready? So we gotta pour a little bit of that salsa. Ooh. Ready? Down the hatch. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. 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 It's just so much flavor. It's like a train full of flavor that just hits you. Boom. Man. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Let's try another one. It's unbelievable how how much flavor it has. Oh, it's spicy. That's another thing. It's hard to talk while you're eating spicy stuff. Now the tacos ain't spicy, but that salsa is spicy. But it's crazy how there could be so much flavor in one taco, and the flavors are like. One flavor doesn't overpower another flavor. It's just all smooth, bam, flavor. Oh, let's take another bite. This is steak. Steak. But to elevate it, take it up a notch. We gotta put some of these onions in here, right? Grab some of these onions, right? and you put the onions inside of the taco with the cilantro. You see that? Ooh, now we go like this. And then we do another little spread of sauce. Right there. We take a little bit of this lime just to enhance it a little more and we squirt it in there. Mm. Ready? And I'm sorry if I'm making y'all hungry ahead of time, but look, ready? Down the hatch. Mmm. 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 I mean, I guess it's a perfect day for comfort food because this is definitely comfort food. 
raining outside. Fall's around the corner, folks, and Harry loves fall. Not only do I love the weather where you could wear a little hoodie, I love the leaves falling off the trees. I love the color of the leaves, the yellow, the oranges, the browns, the red leaves. Fall is a beautiful season and I love it. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person out there that loves fall. But yeah, today's the perfect type of weather for some good comfort food. Mmm. Man. Take one of these onions right here. Mmm. 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 Man, this, they know what they're doing here. They know. And again, like I said, it reminds me of grandma, man. Something about your mom's cooking or grandma's cooking. I don't know if it's because we grew up on that, but for me, it's like so good. Like when your mom cooks for you or your grandmother cooks for you or you eat their food, I guess it's because they make it with love. Ah, that's what this tastes like. Tastes like they made it with love. And I'm all about love. I've ate, I've eaten food at various Mexican restaurants, but this tastes like home. This rice, I mean, it just looks like regular Mexican rice, right? But this rice has so much flavor. And Libby can call sign for me. She loves this rice. Mmm. Mmm. And I'm sorry, Libby, if you're watching this and I make you hungry. Apologize. Look at this. Mmm. Man, I wish you guys could really try this rice. Oops. I wish you guys could really try this rice though, because it's like, not everywhere I go, the food is amazing, right? But this is amazing. Uh, and I mean, damn, I just wish you could try it, guys. Now, we all know that food trucks are booming right now. They're everywhere. But this is definitely in my top three out of the food trucks that I've been to in Denver. Los Vaqueros food truck. What are we doing with this mulita here? Look at that cheese. Ooh, I'm ready to take a bite off this. Ooh, this pepper's gonna be spicy. It's red. Damn! This made my day. I was looking forward to that food truck, the barbecue food truck, but this, wow, I come here about two to three times a week. In the last three months, I come here about two or three times a week. Look at that, honeys. damn thing oh technical difficulties mmm y'all ready mmm mmm -hmm. this is steak here yeah. Come on. Let's try another bite here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. That was a mess, man. I dropped salsa all over my passenger seat, but it's all right, we're back. Technical difficulties, it happens. What a day, folks. But you know what, that's not gonna stop me. I'm enjoying myself and eating my food, right? Mm-hmm. 
This one's dangerous here. This one's spicy. But you know what? I like living life on the edge sometimes. Mmm. And if you want to live on the edge, that's the pepper you want to eat. <clears throat> that thing's a little too spicy, honestly. Coca-Cola should just sponsor me already. Most of my videos tend to be long. I've been trying to make them shorter. It's hard to make them shorter when Harry loves to talk. That's another fun fact about Harry. I enjoy talking. And essentially, I'm in the car talking to myself, but I'm really talking with you guys or to you guys. I've been trying to make my videos shorter and I apologize if they're a little too long. But if you like my long videos, I appreciate it. And if you don't like them that long, I'm trying, honeys. I can't help it sometimes. Shawty be talking and enjoying his food. So time goes by quick when you're enjoying yourself, right? That camera falling threw me off because I had to clean up. I had to set it up, reset it up. So what I was talking about previously, totally forgot. This here right here, this is dessert. This is called flan, what's in here. And I was reading because I be in flan as a kid growing up, but I never paid attention or looked into how it's made. Since it has the egg inside the dessert, I was reading that they put it in the oven, but they put it in a water bath to steam it. So this is steam, right? And if you had flan before, you know what the taste is like. Oops, wrong one. Man, if it's not one thing, it's another. I got so distracted to make this video that I left my flan on the counter. And back to my story about flan. Flan is a dessert, right? They cook it in the oven, but they put it in a water bath. So it steams itself. So you think about it, if it's steamed, it's super gelatin, I guess, if that's the word. Look at this. Look at this right here. It's like a cheesecake almost, but the texture of it, see if you can see, Ooh, it's jiggly. Look how, look how gliss, look how it shines. Wow, look how it shines. It just has like a shine to it. Ooh, look at her. Look at, all right. Look at her, look at this. Can you see, so you can see the glaze on it, the shininess on it, how it shines. And if you had flan before, you know what I mean. This is good. Now, if you have it, I suggest you try it sometime. Hmm. Mm hmm Look at that. Almost like a cheesecake. It just melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Wow. I haven't had some of this in so long that I almost forgot what it tastes like. Look at the jiggle on that. You see how it jiggles? You know I like it when it jiggles, right? <laughs> mm hmm Come to Papa. Come to... Mmm. Mm hmm I've never made this before. The only times I've eaten flan was if I buy it at a bakery store or if I bought a cake for, you know, take it to a family party or something. But I've never made it. So I was curious to know how it was made and I looked it up. Ooh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Man, right, baby. You're good, baby. Mm-hmm. You know what, you know what all this needs on top? It needs like some walnuts, that's it. Some walnut shavings or some type of, even granola on top of this would be bomb to give it a little bit of a crunch. I love crunch, if you don't know by now. I love my food, like, I like, oh, something about having that little crunch with this soft gelatin, it just takes it up a notch. And I'm all about taking it up a notch. I'll come here. 
You want some? You want some, honeys? I know you want some. I know you want some. Here, ready? Open, open. How was that? Good, right? Now let me get some. Mmm. Sharing is caring, baby. Remember that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save this little piece for later. I like taking a little nap sometimes and then waking up and having a leftover piece of dessert. That's just me. That's just me, honeys. And you know what? Lately, I've been watching that series on Netflix called Suits. If you guys watch the series Suits, you know what I mean. That's a good show. So I know I'm going to watch a little bit of probably an episode or two. And then I'm going to take a little nap. And then I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have that dessert left. But what we're going to do here, we're going to take one more bite here. Because things ain't going my way today so for some reason. The rain stopped me from going to that food truck. I forgot my flan. But I got it back. My dash mount fell about three times but i'm pushing through this and you know what we're gonna take another bite because daddy wants some more <laughs> mm. Mm. tell me what you want tell me what you need tell me ain't good enough for you babe Mm -hmm. This pepper is too spicy. It is hard to talk with this, how spicy this is. I didn't think this was gonna be that spicy, but you know what? Every pepper is different and unique. Some look spicy and they're not spicy. Some don't look spicy and they are. This one looked spicy and it was. Dang, that was good. Oh Lord. Ooh, that's spicy. <clears throat> Mexican food never fails me. This food truck never fails me. What well, you know what did fail me? This weather today uh, and this dash mount, excuse me. Mm. If you guys wanna leave any recommendations or you wanna leave any comments of what you want Harry to check out or go eat, what kind of food, I'm not big on Greek food, but maybe I should, should try some Greek food. Maybe some Indian food. Never really eat Indian food, but I will. Uh, if you want to leave in the comments below some type of food that you guys would like me to check out. Thank you for watching this video, honeys. I appreciate the support. Love you guys. Uh-oh. Hopefully everybody has a blessed weekend. With that being said, love you, honeys. Stay fly, stay fresh. And if you ain't fresh, that means you got to wash that egg. <laughs> Love you. Thank you again. Harry checking out. Peace.